When you create a VM, it's important to choose an appropriate disk size and configuration for the expected workload. Azure Virtual Machines use disk to store operating systems, applications and data. When managing your virtual machines in Microsoft Azure, adding storage is a common task. Whether you are attaching new data disk for application data, logs or backups or expanding existing disk to accommodate growing storage needs. Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT Fabcast. In this video, we will walk you through how to attach a new data disk to a Windows VM using the Azure portal. I'll also cover the steps to increase the size of an existing disk to expand its capacity. We will also see some other additional disk management tasks. There are three main types of disk that can be attached to virtual machines in Azure. The OS disk, the data disk and the temporary disk. Every virtual machine has one attached OS disk. This disk contains a pre-installed OS which was selected during VM creation and includes the boot volume and operating system files. Data on the OS disk persists across reboots and shutdowns but will be lost if the VM and its associated disk are deleted without backup or detachment. Most virtual machines include a temporary disk which is not a managed disk. This disk provides short-term storage for applications and processes and is typically used to store data such as page files, swap files or SQL Server tempdb. Data on the temporary disk may be lost during maintenance events when the VM is redeployed or when it's stopped and deallocated. However, data usually persists during a standard reboot. Because of its volatile nature, the temporary disk should not be used for storing persistent data. Microsoft recommends that you separate application and user data from OS related data when possible. If you need to store user or application data on your VM, you will typically create and attach additional data disk. A data disk is a managed disk that's attached to a virtual machine to store user's data, application data or other data you need to keep. This disk is persistent, meaning user data stored on it is retained even if the VM is shut down or deleted. It is also be detached and reattached to other VMs as needed. In this video, we are going to add a new data disk to our existing VM using the Azure portal. In the first step, we need to log into the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. Select the virtual machine for which you intend to add data disk. Expand settings and then click on disk. This is our OS disk with a size of 127 GB. You can also attach an existing disk if you already have one. Step 1. Create and attach a new data disk. On the data disk, click on create and attach a new disk. In the drop downs for the new disk, make the selections you want and name the disk. First, select the learn number. A learn stands for logical unit number and it is a number that is used to identify a specific storage device. This means each storage device has a unique number which is used to identify the device on Azure. We are going with LUN0. Now enter a name for your data disk. I have given name ws22-testvm01-datadisk01. Now select the disk type for the data disk. Choose either standard HDD, SSD or premium SSD depending on your needs. For a cost perspective, choose the standard option. If your VM requires higher performance due to heavy disk usage, consider selecting a premium SSD for faster I.O. In this example, I'll go with premium SSD locally redundant storage type. Now specify the disk space for the data disk. In this example, I'm going to specify the size to 10 GB. Change the encryption and host caching as necessary. Click on apply to create and attach the new data disk to the VM. Wait for a few seconds. You will receive a confirmation message when the data disk is attached to the VM. Wait for confirmation notification. Updated virtual machine. The new disk is now listed under the virtual machine's disk settings under data disk. The next step is to initialize this new data disk. 
Log in to the VM and go to Disk Management. You will find the new data disk as unallocated. Right click on Start menu and select Disk Management. Disk management detects the new uninitialized disk and automatically displays the initialized disk window. Verify that the new disk is selected, then click OK to initialize the disk with the GPT partition style. The new disk appears as unallocated. Right click anywhere on the disk and select new simple volume. The new simple volume wizard window opens. Proceed through the wizard, keeping all of the defaults and when you are done, select finish. The newly created data disk has been attached, initialized and is now ready for use. Go to File Explorer. Verify that volume E is present and has a size of 10 GB. Step 2. Resize the existing data disk. Next, let's see how we can increase the size of an existing disk. You can expand data disk without deallocating your VM. Let's go back to the Azure portal. Go to the VM where you want to expand the disk. Go back to your VM's disk section. Under disk name, select the data disk you want to resize. This opens the disk overview page. Under settings, select size plus performance. Select the disk size that you want. The new disk size must be greater than the current disk size. Also keep in mind that shrinking an existing disk is not supported and may result in data loss. You can also specify the value in the custom disk size field. For example, if you want to increase the disk size to 20 GB, you can specify the value 20 in the custom disk size field. Also select the performance tier as required. For this example, let's set the custom value to 20 GB and click the save button to complete the process. Updating the disk. Wait for the confirmation notification to appear. We can see the confirmation successfully updated data disk. Go back to VM, click on refresh. In this example, the disk size was increased from 10 GB to 20 GB. Log into the VM and open the disk management. The existing data disk now shows unallocated space. Right click an existing E drive partition and select extend volume. Click next until you reach the end, then click finish. Confirm that the partition size has been updated to 20 GB. Go back to File Explorer, right click and select Refresh. Verify that the volume E is present and has a size of 20 GB. To expand the OS disk, you must deallocate your VM. You cannot increase the OS disk size while the VM is running. Let's go back to the Azure portal. Step 3. How to detach the data disk. Next, let's see how we can detach the data disk from the VM. Go to the VM where you want to detach the disk. Go back to your VM's disk section. Under data disk, click the detach icon to remove the data disk from the VM. Click apply to save the changes. Wait for the confirmation notification to appear. The data disk has been successfully removed from the VM but it has not been deleted. You can attach this existing data disk to any VM when needed. To do this, under Data Disk, click on Attach Existing Disk. From the drop down menu, select the data disk which you want to attach to your VM. Let's click on Discard Changes. Step 4 How to Delete Existing Disk. Click on Virtual Machines. Expand Disk plus Images and then click on Disk. Click on the disk which you want to delete. At top bar, click on Delete. In the confirmation pop-up, click delete to permanently remove the selected data disk. Wait for the confirmation notification to appear. The data disk has been deleted successfully. The process of attaching, resizing, detaching or deleting a data disk in Azure is simple and straightforward. That's all for this video on how to create and manage a disk in Azure. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.